Hello, good afternoon here. Today I'm going to install this Brownville Bidet toilet seat onto the American Standard skirted toilet. Compared with the regular toilet, a little bit harder, but it's a doable for homeowner. No plumber needed. Wipe bidet? Wipe works. Wash out, clean better. So this footage do need electricity to heat up water and air. You don't want the cold water in the winter to wash your butt in the harsh Canadian winter, especially. So I installed this electrical receptacle here. If you want to know how to install this electrical outlet to a finished tile wall, please click this link. Thank you. Let's start. This is a tools and a part you need. Uh, flat screwdriver, adjustable, and a socket wrench. I will show you why we need a socket wrench for this installation. Next, install the T-valve. Don't forget the washer here. And then connect that to the hose for the bidet on the T. They still have a, the washer here. And then connect to the water supply. Hand tight. Next, I'm going to install this mounting plate. When you install the mounting plate on the regular toilet, you need this the nut and the hook up to the bolt here. It's easy to access from here. But on the skirted toilet, it's so narrow there. It's very hard. That's why I use this, the socket wrench. So I use the paint tape to get this rubber washer, a nut, washer, thin washer together, put on this socket. So I can reach from the back. So when I see it, I thread in, I know this is an in. Next, I'm going to slide this uh, toilet seat onto the mounting plate. supply to the toilet seat here. After tighten up, you can test the water to see if it's water leak. And then you need to check all the connections to see if there's a water leak. After I check the water, there's a no leak here on the, all the connections. So I'm going to install this uh, remote. I put the back 
this in. So what I like for this, the remote holder above this toilet paper holder here. So I peel off this. Make sure the remote holder is an easy access when you sit on the toilet seat. I try here, it's a good place. Okay, so next, I plug in the power. Okay, you can see here, the power indicator is on. And uh, I can use that to control the seat temperature, or spray water temperature, so, they also have a night light. Yep, that's it for this toilet in installation. Thank you for watching. If you like this short video, please hit the like button and the subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next time.